Today we're going to be talking about the Above the Tie X1 Single Edge Slant Razor. Coming right up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host John and we got another razor spotlight for you today. This one comes courtesy of Above the Tie, which this razor is on loan, and that is the Above the Tie X1 Single Edge Slant Razor. Above the Tie reached out to me after I covered the S1 Slant Razor and asked if I'd be interested in trying this one, which recently released, I think just within the past few weeks. So I figured because I haven't tried too many Artist Club style razors, uh, the more experienced the better. So this one, uh, the X1, is a loaner. Uh, it came with the Calypso handle. Uh, I had a choice of which handle uh, to go with it. And I actually, I have, I'm a big fan of this handle. It's weighty, it's stainless steel. The Calypso has a kind of barber pole style knurling on it. So it certainly helps with the grip. This version of the X1 head that I've been using is in the brushed matte finish. And I've been using a Schick Proline P30 as far as the blade goes. Uh, but before we get further into the details of the X1, uh, let me show you what else we're gonna use today. So the brush I'm using today is another one on loan from my friend and Lather Talk co-host Gerard. And the brush here is from Summer Break Soaps, who, in case you didn't know, besides making an excellent soap splash, you know, software products, has been turning some beautiful handles. And this one is loaded with a 28 millimeter Declaration Grooming B11 knot. So you can kind of see, uh, it's been soaking. Really, I've used it for a few shaves this week. Phenomenal knot and really an excellent pour from Kyle over at Summer Breaks. As far as the software, I want to revisit something that I'm already familiar with, given that we're doing the spotlight on the razor. And what I want to revisit is Declaration Grooming's Fake Yellow Light, both the soap and the splash. This one in particular had this uh, wonderful leather note that really uh, revealed itself in the splash, more so than the soap. This time around, I'm, I'm curious if my nose picks up that leather more in the, um, in the mix of notes in the soap here. But all around, really wonderful scent. Looking forward to using it today. If you'd like to help the channel, please like, share, and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. These are all easy ways to support and grow the channel if you're enjoying what you're watching. I'd also like to invite you all to come check out the new Lather Talk Discord server. It's a great place to chat and hang out with your fellow wet shaving enthusiasts. All right, so we've got the brush loaded here. You can see I have a little bit of the pre-lather already on my face. And as I'm doing the face lather, I'm gonna give you some more information behind the razor we're using today. All right, so the Above the Tie X1 is made of 303 stainless steel and it's made in the USA. Uh, this one is billed as a mid-aggressive razor, and I, I would agree with that assessment. Some of the you know, finer details, the stats on this guy, the blade gap is 0.55 millimeters. I don't know why I said it that way, 0.55 millimeters. <laughs> on the website, the X1 is also billed as a smooth, but efficient razor. And kind of interesting to note, they do warn folks who have sensitive skin um, that this might not be the best razor for you. Personally, I don't see a lot of slant razors, rather new slant razor designs coming to market. I think it did have its moment in the sun um, maybe a few years back. It's April 2021 as I'm recording this, <laughs> just for your reference, if you come back uh, in the future to watch this but slants aren't really talked about too much. But it, it's an interesting idea to combine it with a Artist Club style razor. And my guess is that um, one big motivator behind it was to increase the efficiency. And maybe just do something a little bit different with this style razor. All right, so we're lathered up and ready to go with the X1 razor right here. The head size on this one is pretty wide as well. So as you can see, I am not a head shaver, but 
I do think that the wider head and ability to cut through probably coarser hair would probably make this one at least a decent head shaver. This is my third use of the X1. And just this past week, it's been providing excellent shaves. I've never had irritation yet so far. Uh, I do think you have to be careful in maybe sensitive areas like certain parts of your neck or even on the corners of uh, my lip. It does seem to be a little more sensitive, so I just go with a lighter touch or even um, I, I might only do like one pass with it. Just not, to, not, just not to irritate the skin too much. But the angle is easy to find. Rather, the optimal angle is easy to find with this. It didn't take too much, too much trying. And I honestly was afraid going into this before my first shave that it was going to be just altogether be too aggressive and um, too much blade feel and whatnot, but that really hasn't proven to be the case. I'm not sure if it's picking up through the microphone, but there's a, there's a fair amount of audio feedback on this. And that's even like with the grain, let alone against the grain, it'll bump up a bit more. And I know some folks really like their audio feedback uh, in their shaving experience. As the first pass, no issues. Now we're going in for the second pass against the grain. Now, one thing I've been wondering as I've been using this razor this past week is, you know, what is the draw of a artist club style razor? And what I came up with was variety. So anyone else who considers themselves a hobbyist, shaving enthusiast and whatnot, we just like variety. So whether it's, uh, you know, double edge razors, the very single edge, gem, injector, artist club. We just like variety and experiencing different things or just try new things. And the second I could think of was uh, what I mentioned before uh, for head shaving. I think the single edge razors, from, from what I understand, has a certain appeal to head shavers. And that's kind of what I came up with. So I'm curious for viewers at home, if you are into single edge razors and you have different reasons for why you're into them. I would love to hear from you. So uh, be sure to drop me a comment below. If you're a huge fan of single edge razors, artist club style razors, what's the, what's the big draw for you? As I personally have a push and pull of trying different things, but also try not to hoard shaving items, both in hardware and software. I've been asking my, myself that question. And I, I'm not sure if there's a huge draw for me. I mean, that's part of the reason why I'm thinking about that question. For the sake of experimentation, for the sake of science, you know, I, I'm more than happy to try this stuff and bring you guys along for the ride, but for, you know, if I'm not creating a video, if I'm just wanting to reach for whatever I want, particularly want to use that day, I'm not so sure that the Artist Club style razors have a huge draw for me. And that's not to say there's any lack of, you know, lack of anything as far as performance and whatnot, but I think maybe the, the razor head size might have some, something to do with it. Because there's a whole lot of 
a blade available, which is great if you're going over a lot of surface area, but just for my face, you know, whatever is provided in your typical uh, DE size usually is more than enough. All right, now I'm going in for that third and final pass, mostly touch up and clean up here. Also, before I forget to mention it, um, as far as the scent for fake yellow light goes, still a really enjoyable scent and I am definitely getting that leather note more. Now that my nose kind of is, knows what to look for, it does kind of blend in with the spices and um, the sweet notes that are in fake yellow light. But it's a very, very, uh, it's not a rawhide leather, very smooth, almost suede-like leather, something you might find in some nicer colognes like Tom Ford ombre leather. Not that this scent smells like ombre leather <laughs> because the combination of notes are, are totally different. But as far as a reference point to what kind of leather note, because there's even, you know, you can say leather, but there are, there are different ways that note can go. So I'm kind of happy to take another spin with the scent I kind of find some more of the nuances in it. All right, so we are done with our three pass shave. And it was a very, yeah, very solid shave, just like the ones before. You can see here, mow down have three and a half days worth of growth with no problem. Uh, we're gonna finish things up with the fake yellow light matching splash. Give that a good shake. In case you guys didn't catch the, uh, the review on the scent, uh, I'll put a link in the video for uh, if you wanna catch up more about the, where I talk about the scent. We won't touch, touch upon it lightly today, but the name of this soap is a passing reference to a song by Jimmy Eat World, one of my favorite bands. Rock, alternative, however you want to categorize them. And yeah, there's that, there's that smooth leather really just like at the forefront of the splash. Really excellent. All right, so final thoughts on the Above the Tie X1. As I was trying to kind of state and give you my personal background, as far as preference on razors, uh, I, I'm very much a you know DE double A edge safety razor fan. That being said, the X1 offered a very comfortable shave. When you, when you really boil it down, the X1 has low to moderate blade feel. Uh, it's a very smooth razor. It's a smooth shaver, but it's still bringing efficiency. I think the slant design on this one. If you are a big, you know, single edge aficionado, big artist club fan, this will probably give you some variety that you might be looking for uh, in your shave then. And I think if you're a shaver who's looking for something more off the beaten path, uh, something a little more unique, uh, this uh, Above the Tie X1 would certainly fit the bill. So I do wanna thank my friends over at Above the Tie for the opportunity to try this razor. And if you guys have any questions about the X1 or anything else you saw in today's shave, please leave your questions in the comments below. Otherwise, that's gonna do it for today's video. I do wanna thank you guys so much for taking some time out of your day and joining me in my humble bathroom with Turk Turtleton, the new, newly named uh, sea turtle in the back here. I hope you guys have a great day and hope to catch you next time. Take care.